You standing there? You want Tiger to get a chill? I want him rubbed down after every workout. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so his workout is a little slow, but don't worry, he'll be in great shape for the turtle sweepstakes next week. I don't know. Starkey's turtle gave Cyclone a tight race last year. So what? Cyclone beat him, didn't he? And he beat him for the last three years. Don't worry, he's all right. He's just a little overtrained. Maybe Cyclone's getting old. <laughs> Listen, oh, he's only 160 years old. He's in the prime of life. He's even got a little baby fat left. How come turtles live so long, Harry? Because they don't stay up late, drink, or go out with girls, all right? All right, now walk them out till he cools off, put them back in the box. All right, all right, all right, out with it. You're worried about your dough. Huh? I wouldn't say worried exactly, Harry. Worried is exactly what I would say. What is well, trying to say is we've got over 900 bucks bet on Cyclone. We've never had that much bet before. Naturally, we're a little worried. No, 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 worried. I got my money bet. Do I look worried? Look. <laughs> Do I look worried, Harry? We've got all the confidence in the world in you, but everybody's betting on Starkey's turtle. Sucker money. The smart money is betting on Cyclone. Who's that? Us. <laughs> okay, he's resting. Good, I'll tell you what I want you to do with him. Flat maintenance. The odds on the turtle race? Waluska, the morning line. Uh, Lovebug, 7 to 5. 28 to 20. On Lovebug. Flagler in the paint shop. You're on. Hook Flagler, huh? Good boy. Let me see all those slips. Mm-hmm. By this time next week, we'll be loaded. Hey, Harry, what are you going to do with all your money? I don't know. I always wanted to go to New Orleans for my vacation. I want to eat in that famous restaurant, Antoine. Antoine's, yeah. They're famous for their turtle soup. <laughs> oh, no, baby. Baby, you meant mock turtle soup. Mock turtle soup. Mock turtle soup. That's what you're going to make out of that cycle, that grafting. I'm going to show him he isn't the big shot he thinks he is around here. I'm really going to get even with him once and for all. I'm really going to let him have Starkey, it. Starkey, Are you all right? You've been hating grafting so much, you got yourself sick. Why did you have to stop me? I was really having such a good time. Jeez, why don't you leave me alone, huh? <laughs> Glad to see you. Covering bets for $1,163. Pretty good, huh? Not good enough. And you got a sure thing, you got to push it. Action, action. Harry, uh, Harry, Harry. Oh. I didn't mean tomorrow. I don't panic. Harry, what do we do with no time? Get it in the back room. Walk up. That's to be a good boy. Take care of everything. Act not chill sure out. Not chill sure out. Where's Brad? Oh, he's out. I can see that. When he comes back, tell him I want a check of all the fire sprinkler heads in this building, maintenance-wise. Yes, Mr. Brink. Aren't you going to answer the phone? Oh, it's the wrong number. I'm pretty sure. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> answer the phone. <laughs> wrong number. <laughs> right. Look, I don't know what's going on here, but... Hello. What? Ten dollars on love bug. Who is this? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello? Hummel, if Grafton's got something going, I'd like to make a little bet myself. You? Why not? Even I like to take a little fling now and then. Oh, well, okay, Mr. Green. What? What's that? That's the morning line. Gambling, just as I suspected. But you don't have to study it, because I can give you an inside tip. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Oh, sure. You see, Harry is really Cyclone's trainer. Oh, but I take care of him, so I know what makes I was just down on the bus. Oh, Lester, what have you done? You gave away our April Fool play. Oh, what? <laughs> Grafton. I suppose you know the rules here about gambling policy-wise. Sir, it's just a joke. <laughs> Be in Mr. Osborne's office in 20 minutes, and we can all enjoy a good laugh. That's a word to the wise wife. Sir, you don't think and that. And there's nothing you can do to square yourself. Nothing? 
There's nothing I can do to square myself? Nothing. But, Grafton, it's always an unhappy task to fire a man. Yes, sir. I know how hard this is on you, sir. However, as unpleasant as my duty is, I must face up to it. Yeah. Responsibility-wise. Exactly. Now, Rick, what is it? Oh, oh, Mr. Osborne, uh, this is the foreman in maintenance that I told you about. Oh. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, this company has grown through the years, mainly through the efforts of men like yourself. Uh, Mr. Osborne. Although I sit up here in the executive office as the president of the company, I make it my business to watch every man, every nut, every bolt in this plant. And for your 25 years of service to the company, it gives me great pleasure to present you with this gold watch. Uh, it's our way of saying thank you. It's our way of saying big business has a heart. Uh, Mr. Osborne, <laughs> you have the wrong man. The watch is for Wagner in shipping. The presentation's at 4 o'clock. So what am I doing here? Your secretary told uh, my... I'm afraid Mr. Brink is finding it rather difficult to tell you, sir, but seems I've broken one of the rules. Gambling on the premises during working hours. Oh, this is serious. Now, what have you to say, Wagner? Well, there's nothing I can say, sir, except that it was for a worthy cause. Grafton, don't try to soft soap your way out of this. I was trying to raise money for charity, sir. Poor, hungry, homeless animals who have no place else to turn. Yes, if I did what was wrong, I did it because the Animal Lovers League needs money. It's funny you should mention the Animal Lovers League. You see, my niece is chairman of the organization's fundraising drive for this year. Isn't that wonderful? Yes, she's been after me to have a fundraising drive here in the plant. But you're doing it. You carry on. Oh, sir, a plant of this size. What do I know about raising money? <laughs> Go ahead, Grafton. Have a good time at my expense, but not much longer. You're going to be laughing out the other side of your face when I'm through with you. Oh, really? Are you referring to a certain turtle race? You said it, boy. You're going to get beat. Uh huh. Would you say that again? You're gonna get beat. You're gonna get beat. The very words Napoleon used to Wellington at Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> Lunch is over. Get out of all. Roxy, you, first thing you do, I want you to get down to printers. Have those tickets printed. Look alive. Grafton? I'm Della Osborne. <laughs> My uncle told me what you were doing, and I just had to stop by and thank you. The Animal Lovers League is very grateful, and so am I. I beg your pardon? Well, I can see that you're very busy, so I don't want to take up any more of your time. But if there's anything at all I can do to help, you will let me know, won't you? Yes, of course. Goodbye. Thank you so much again. Instead of getting... Uh, Harry. Harry! Oh, it's no use, fellas. I've seen him like this before. He's in love. Love? This is it. This happens to a man once every thousand years. <laughs> Della. Della! It sings. It sings. <laughs> And what a nice surprise. Oh, Miss Osborne, I... For you. Why, thank you. They're lovely. They're artificial. They last forever. <laughs> Miss Osborne, I hope you don't mind my popping in on you like this, but you did say it was all right if I needed help. Yes, of course, Mr. Grafton, especially if it's important. Oh, it is important. Believe me, it's very important. Then won't you sit down? Well, thank you. I, oh, excuse me. <laughs> what can I do to help you? Well, I do need help, you see. It's the printing for the publicity, Animal Lovers League. Is that spelled right? I'm having trouble with the printer. Well, let's see. There should be an apostrophe in lovers. Lovers. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Well, that does help a lot. I've been having such a fuss with the printer. Well, now that's settled. <laughs> yeah, I was I'm talking so to the boy... <laughs> I'm so happy that you share my love for animals, Mr. Grafton. 
And I'm happy to share your love, Miss Osborne. You, you know, know, I was, I very was much talking to the... <laughs> you know, I was very much impressed with you today. Impressed with me? Yes, the way you were talking to those men. Why, you showed great organizational ability and a very executive manner. Well, you either have it or you haven't Tell got me, it. what do you do in the plant? I'm a foreman in maintenance. Isn't that wonderful? Well, it's not everybody can do it. <laughs> Imagine a man like you taking a job as just a foreman. Just a foreman? Yes, yeah, starting at the bottom, so you can work your way up to an executive position. I think that shows so much character. Yeah, so a lot of guys would be happy being in a rut, just being a foreman. But not you, <laughs> not Mr. Grafton. I think it's so important to have a goal in life. In fact, I wouldn't think of marrying a man that didn't have a goal. So sudden. I wasn't thinking of marrying. <laughs> Why not? A man like you has a great deal to offer a girl. Oh, shucks. I'm just an average guy. Oh, no, not, Mr. Grafton. You're very unusual. You're direct and honest, and those are rare qualities. <laughs> Miss Osborne? Yes? I know how you feel about animals. How do you feel about people? Harry, I just got the estimate from the printer. Now, which ticket do you want to have printed up? Take care of it yourself. Me? A good executive is one who encourages insubordinates to make their own decisions. Executive Campbell, what are you doing, Harry? Studying about the enemy? I am the enemy. I'm on my way upstairs. I'm going to be an executive. You don't think I'm going to be just a foreman all my life? Harry, you don't want to be a foreman? Harry, has the Osborne dame got anything to do with this? You keep a civil tongue in your head. When you speak about the future, Mrs. Grafton, to be. Harry, you can't be an executive just like that. It takes years. I haven't got the time. Good boy, Lester. You put your ass for it, Harry. Fine, fine. One each of everything they have in the parts department. Good. All right, boys, give me a hand with this. Do what? Just put together anything that fits. <laughs> Harry, what are you making? What else? An executive. It's the new Phil Silver Show. Here, what is? As you can see, sir, I've practically eliminated the surface friction. Uh, I've used the principle of the hydraulic lift, but I'm telling you these things, you know so much more about it than I ever will. Well, at the it's all in the time, memo I sent you, sir. At the present time, I really can't say. Well, I really should share the credit with you, sir. You see, I got the idea for the accumulator spindles from something you said, sir. But then again, it's all in the memo. Well, that's what I'm here for, is to help. Memo? Memo. <laughs> I just wanted to check, sir, to see if I was on the right track. Well, Brink, what's so important I had to rush over here right away? Well, nothing, Mr. Ross. Nothing? Your secretary told my secretary that... Oh, hello, Wagner. How How's the sir? watch running? Thank you, Mr. Grafton, sir. Oh, the fundraising drive. Oh, yes, my niece said she'd met you. She thinks you're pretty smart. Well, thank you so much, sir. What in the world is that? Oh. Well, as you can see, sir, I've practically eliminated the surface friction, but why am I explaining it to you? Mr. Brink could do it so much more eloquently than I can, sir. Oh, oh no, Grafton. It's your baby. It should be your privilege explanation. But, wise. sir, I got the idea for the accumulator spindles from something you said, sir. I think you and Mr. Osborne can discuss it in terms way beyond my comprehension, sir. Well, I, I don't think anybody has to explain a piece of machinery to Mr. Osborne. No, 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 of course not. As a matter of fact, I got the idea for the accumulator spindles from Mr. Osborne. Something you said at lunch one day, sir. Is that so? Yeah. About this machine... Ah, I know what you want to know. You want to know if the pressure gauges work linked or independently? Yeah, that's what I want to know. <laughs> I've been working on this for five years. I should be finished in another three or four years. You see, I've been doing this in my spare time with no proper facilities. But this is an important thing. It can't wait four or five years. <laughs> well, that's just what I was thinking, time-saving-wise. Oh, I don't want to be a bomb. Put him in the executive department. Give him a research lab, anything he wants. Just what I had in mind. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. This is what I've always dreamed of, a lab of my own. Oh, I can't wait to call Miss Zillman, my eighth grade science teacher. She always had such faith in me. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Miss Zillman, Miss Zillman, we did it. Oh, I'd like that to save this company a million dollars a year. I guess it would be closer to a million and a half. <laughs> That'll be all, Miss Fisher. Thank you very much. Hi, Harry. Just a moment, my good man. How are you, Lester? Okay, Harry. My good man. 
What's this, my good master? Oh, when other people are around, I got to. I mean, how does it look? An executive being friendly with the little people? Oh, like yesterday, you were downstairs and you walked right by without even saying hello. Roxy, what was I going to do? I was with Brink. How does it look, status-wise? Gee, Harry, you used to be such a nice guy, too. Master, I still am. Only now I'm an executive. It's down deeper. <laughs> well, how are things going downstairs-wise? Bad, Harry, bad. The turtle race is tonight and we're getting killed. I'm... We only sold $18 worth of tickets. So well, look at all the money you'll collect on the bets. Love Bug never saw the day she could beat Cyclone. But Starkey isn't racing a Love Bug, Harry. He got a new turtle. <laughs> Imported from Morocco. Starkey says they, they use them for catching rabbits. Cyclone hasn't got a chance. Sneaky <laughs> Starkey. Harry, couldn't you come to the races tonight? Cyclone always runs better for you and Oh, you shucks, fellas. I wish I could help you out, but I'm rather busy. Detail-wise, I have a date with Miss Della Osborne. Dinner-wise, who knows? <laughs> tonight I may reach for his base. <laughs> Good. Because with us, you just struck out. Don't move, my dear. Thank you. Della, there's something that I want to ask you. What can that be? I'm not expecting anyone. Let's put out the lights. Maybe they'll go away. <laughs> Della! Freddy! Oh! Mm -hmm. It's been centuries. Ages, darling. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think an introduction's in order. Well, you're gonna fool me. You act like you know each other for years. Freddie Freeman, mm -hmm. Harry Grass. Hello there, Fred. Freddie's a very old friend, and he's been living in Paris. Ah, you work in that? Work? Good heavens. Freddie's been writing a book. Ah, what's your book about? It's not about anything. Well, it sounds like a bestseller. Freddie, did you see Dodie in Paris? Yeah, at this time of year. Now, Dodie, she's in Monte Carlo, of course. Oh, you know, Millicent I read don't. that in Monte Carlo, they don't pay taxes. Millicent has actually taken a job. A Millicent job? took a job. Millicent? But if you know Grace Kelly, in some they show you the zoo. <laughs> yes. I know, Millicent working. Mm. Della, who do you think was asking about you the other day? And with more than passing interest, I might add. Give me a clue. Was it in Paris? No. Rome. No. Venice? That's right, Venice. Venice. Oh, it's really wet. Curious. Very oh. special. Oh. Venice. No, no. Stephen. Bob. Monty. No. Paul. Oh. Irving. <laughs> Wesley Oranger. Wesley Oranger should have guessed him right away. <laughs> what do you think about the doctor? Wesley asked about me. And he said some very nice things about you, too. He'll be back for the sailing season. You'll probably see him. Oh, yeah, Millicent will probably be with him. Oh, certainly, if she can tear herself away from that frightful job. 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 dinner with Mr. Grafton. Who? Mr. Grafton? <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> well. Why don't you join us? I'd love to. Good idea. Well, oh, wait, wait, wait. I got a better idea. Why don't you two kids have dinner alone together? Is there something wrong? Oh, no, you see, this is a rented tuxedo. I want to get it back before they charge me overtime. <laughs> well? CTFN. I beg your pardon? Ta-ta for now. <laughs> Mr. Grafton, I don't understand. You don't seem yourself. But I am myself. This is Harry Grafton, foreman. The other Harry Grafton was a junior executive, and I don't think I liked him very much. But I'll tell you who I do like. I like Millicent. <laughs> well, I'll be reading your book, and it comes out in paperbacks. <laughs> Gotta get back to the factory. <laughs> Cyclone doesn't look so good. Well, let's get the race over with and pay Starkey off. He hasn't even bit me for a week. Since Harry left, he's lost the joy of living. Well, Starkey looks happy enough with our money practically in his pocket. Oh, here's Harry. Excuse me. Harry! Hey, what are you doing here? You kidding with my baby racing today. My pal's in trouble. Wild horses couldn't keep me away from here. I thought you had a date with Miss Osborne. On the night of the turtle sweepstakes? Well, Oscar, you're you getting soft. Yeah. Cyclone, baby. It's Harry. I'm here, baby. Hey, look! Cyclone is smiling. <laughs> Harry, if you pull this one out of the fire, you're a genius. Starkey's turtle is faster than Maury will. Oh, he bit me. Hey, that's a good sign. <laughs> Why is it so warm in here? Oh, Starkey put the heat up. The turtle can run better in the heat. You know, he's a desert turtle. A desert turtle, huh? Too bad it ain't raining. Desert turtles don't like rain. Cyclone is a great mutter. <laughs> yes. Give me your life. What are you up to, Harry? Something an executive would never think of. You, I want you to come. 
I just started. Come on, come. Put it right there. Good boy. Now, look. Did you inspect those sprinkler heads like Brink wanted you to do? Not yet, Harry. Well, this is a good time to do it up, quickly. Quick. It's, it's dark up there. Really? Here. Here's a little light for you. Oh. Come on, up, up. Do what I Up. Let me hold. OK, OK, Grafton. Let's get started. All right, all right. Let me in here a minute, please. We'll get started. I just want to examine your turtle. See, this is on the up and up. No magnets, no batteries. Okay, <laughs> do it quick, though. I'd like to get this race over with. Yeah, well, so would I. It's like money in the bank. Oh, is it? Let me in here, please. Okay, we'll get started. Come on, let's go. Come on, Cyclone. Remember one thing, baby. You're carrying the grafting colors. Green and gold. There you go, Roxy. Kind of game, currency pool. <laughs> All righty. Wallace, Lester, Roxy, emergency fund, welfare fund, investment fund. Me, me. Oh, but twice in a row. <laughs> Animal lovers league. Yeah. Me. Oh, I haven't seen much money in all my life. And we only sold 30 tickets. Yeah, but look at the odds we got on Cyclone. How about that? How about that? <laughs> da -da 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 whoop, whoop. Oh, no, buddy, you're not in on this. Hello there, hello there, hello. How are you, Mr. Osborne? <laughs> Osborne, what an honor. Come here, sir, sitting out of the draft. <laughs> What is all this? What well, aid must be the charity money? Uh, the turtle race was last night, well, wasn't it? As a matter of fact, yes, sir, it was. Uh, maybe we'd better take charge of the safety wise for your lovely niece. But sir, it's funny we've been betting. Betting? betting. Did you say betting? Betting. Betting that your lovely niece will be delighted when you give her the money, sir. Well, I'm sure, she'd be delighted. I'm delighted. I can't begin to tell you how grateful I am. This is a moment to live in my memory forever. There aren't many men like you. No, there aren't. <laughs> I want you to know that when promotion time comes round, that your name will be on the tip of my tongue. Thank you again, Wagner. All right. We blew it. But somewhere, someplace in this factory, there's a man named Wagner going to be promoted. <laughs> right, fellas. But doesn't it give you a deep in a feeling of satisfaction. You've done something good for somebody. Doesn't it make you feel terrible? <laughs> <laughs> 